Children, children, quiet, please. Quiet in the back. Pencils out, everyone. This is G O P R O 101, Introduction to the Meaning of Life. Since it is the first day of class, I figured I'd give everyone a preliminary exam. Cleverly disguised as a marketing campaign for a wearable camera. So here we go. Question one Philosophy. You are Ryan Price. That's your brother, Devin. Hold on. Here we go. Here's you. Ryan Price, freestyle skier. You are climbing a mountain. You've brought along your GoPro camera to capture some angles of your ascent. The GoPro captures many angles. But does it capture all the angles? For instance, who created this mountain that you climb? Who created you? And why? You recall the teachings of Dominican philosopher St. Thomas Aquinas, who in the Quinta Via of the Articulus Tertius of the Quesio Secunda of the Prima Part of his Summa Theologiae, made his famous Argumentum Ex Fine, a teleological argument that many unintelligent objects in the world act towards intelligent ends. If the world is but a pocket watch, if you and the mountain are but cogs inside of it. Question one is, can you hear it tick? halfway down the mountain when you see a cliff of doom ahead. Your foray into the realm of philosophy has left you unsatisfied. Perhaps science holds the answers. What are you? You are a body in motion. Will you use Aristotle's model or the classical mechanical model? Why not? Let's party with classical mechanics. You are Ryan Price, point mass abstracted. When you throw yourself from the cliff of doom, you will divide your descent into three stages. The huck, boss landing, the Poudinar shred. As you huck, your position in two-dimensional space will be a parametric equation. X equals initial velocity times time. Y equals one half times negative gravitational acceleration times T squared plus initial height. As you land bossly, the g-forces you shall experience will be the square root of two times g times your cliff height divided by your landing interval, all divided by 32.2 times cosine of theta, which is your slope angle. The inertial forces you shall experience while shredding the NAR are mass times g times sine of theta minus friction coefficient times mass times g times cosine of theta minus your drag coefficient times frontal area times air density times velocity squared divided by 2. Question 
three. What does it all mean? You are approaching the end of your journey and the bottom of the mountain when you come upon an ice cave. I wish I could tell you what it's like inside of here. You have become acutely aware of time. I must apologize. This is not a very good test. It's more of a story, really. Except you don't know when it began. When it will end. Sometimes you're not sure it has a point at all. The philosophy, the science, they've left you feeling unsatisfied. The mountain, the ice cave. These things are not symbols. They're not metaphor. And that's the scary thing. Or maybe it's the best thing. Try not to think so much, my friend. There's no test. There's no questions. You may not have all the answers. But you do have some things. You've got your friends. You've got your family. And you've got the mountain. <laughs> The story doesn't end there, my friends. Once you get to the bottom of the mountain, you'll climb it again. You'll climb it every way you know how. You'll climb it a thousand times if you have to. And once you reach the top again, well, 